Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to show you how to set elevation on a deck when you've used helical piles. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Okay, so basically what we've done, if we've set up a green laser to shoot elevation, obviously we have a couple piles that we hit torque on and they're way too high, so we have to cut them down to height. But we need to know where to cut them. A cool thing about these piles is they're adjustable. They have an adjustable height in them. So we just need to get close, like within a half inch or so. And I always leave a little bit of elevation, but you can spin these up and down to raise and lower them up to a certain amount. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to set these up so that we have about a half inch of play, okay? So what we need to know is where to cut the top of the pile off so that when we set this bracket down on top of it, it sits flat right on the inside of this, okay? We're basically measuring to right here. Okay, so what we have to do is the first thing we need to know is how, how much distance is that? Well, it's about two inches that we gotta add into whatever equation that we're using to figure out elevation. So we have two inches for the pile head, the adjustable head. We have one inch for decking. We have seven and a half for framing and seven and a half for our beams. So that's 15, 16 inches plus the two inches for the pile. So we need to be down about 18 inches from the green laser line to know where exactly to cut. Now we can do this two ways. We can either set the, the laser 18 inches below grade which would be a little bit difficult. I'd have to like put the laser in the dirt to do that. Or what I've done is I've set the laser up to the exact height I need to the top of the decking. And then I subtracted those thicknesses and gave myself a half inch of, of play with the adjustable base. So we need 18 inches below. Okay, so you can see right here, here's my laser line right there. So I just need to go 18 inches below that, and then I know I'll be right on the money as far as height goes. I'll just go to that, that line, go down to 18, mark it, and then we're gonna use this uh, Metabo HPT bandsaw, this cordless bandsaw, to cut the post down to the proper height. So uh, there's a couple different ways we can, we can draw that line. We can actually take we have a sleeve that we can put on here and draw all the way around it, which sometimes comes in handy. So let me go grab that and we'll get that uh, line drawn. So this is a sleeve we use to uh, drive our, these are our smaller piles. Some, we use, sometimes we have a bigger pile that's around this diameter and then we have smaller ones as well. So we can just go down, find our line and draw around it like this. It just helps us get a little more accurate when we go to cut. All right, so now we, we know our elevation, we know where to cut the post. Some of the piles we've driven all the way in and they're already low enough, so we don't have to worry. We're gonna add a little bit of lumber to make those the proper height. We're just concerning ourselves with the piles that are a little too tall, and that's what we're gonna use to cut down with. All right, so according to our laser and to this height, this should be, we should be able to put our beam right in this saddle. And then we, once the beam's in here, we can adjust it up and down to raise or lower this to get it to our final elevation. I know that this deck's gonna have a little bit of pitch because we're tying into an existing deck that has a little bit of drainage as well. So we may have to lower this a little bit depending on where the final slope is of that elevation. So there you go, guys. Hope that helps somebody out there. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to like our videos and leave us a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.